All right, guys, good morning. If it's not morning where you are, I apologize. It's morning here. We have the 2021 Jaguar F-Type P380 R Dynamic. That's a motorcycle. Uh, I'm gonna do my best to speak loudly so that the audio comes through. And please, if for some reason the audio cuts out, I'm gonna blame YouTube, but go ahead and comment. Let us know that there is an audio and we'll try to fix it. Again, I, I don't know why we didn't get audio last time we did one of these, but just let us know, okay? So let's jump right to the questions that we first have from Instagram, where I post a questionnaire thing the day before, at miles per hour if you wanna follow me there and get your questions in early, early, or YouTube community, I do the same thing there. You can ask your questions early. And uh, yeah, if you have not subscribed to the channel, please subscribe. Daily videos, walk arounds, PV drives, live Q and A's, reviews. So subscribe, hit the bell, get notified. And Christina, my lovely camera woman slash wife slash mother of my child to be, is going to ask our first question. <laughs> okay. Oh, and hi, Andrew Parker. He's on every week. Every week, Andrew. Every week. You're the best. Awesome. Okay. Sure, prop mesh is there as well. Yes, I'm sure he'll come on. Okay. Trunk space? Question mark from Why did I say question mark? Trunk space. Aaron De Souza. Okay, Aaron De Souza. Remember, you got to speak up really Plus loud. Plus, Grandma sharded herself. Okay, and Grandma sharded herself. Also asked the question about trunk space. So I will show it to you, but I'll also give you the specs. So let's walk around to the trunk in the back. It is 14.4 cubic feet in the coupe. But we have the convertible here, so it's 7.7, .7, I believe. I'm pretty sure it's almost directly half. And uh, I don't know why I'm going to the hood there. Need to be in the trunk. So we can see that it isn't the largest trunk in the business, but it also has to accommodate for that folding fabric roof. So because it has this deeper pocket here, you can fit some stuff, but suitcases are going to be really hard because it's fairly shallow, except for that trunk pocket. Duffel bags. Duffel bags are gonna be your friend with the Jaguar F-Type convertible. Coop, you can probably get away with suitcases. What is our next question, Christina? It is... Okay, exhaust sound from Grandma Sharded herself. Exhaust sound. We can also do, we'll do startup and exhaust because Kind of like the AMG vehicles, the latest AMG vehicles with a motion start that I now know the name of. Uh, this also gives you a bit, of, a bit of extra pops and overrun at the startup. So let's hear that and then I will also give it some rest. Sorry, and to uh, to make it uh, explode with those lovely overrun noises. I hope you like the exhaust note. But here's the question for you guys: as You let me know. Do you like the sound of this exhaust? Still V6 supercharged in this model here. You also have the V8 in the R, and you have a four-cylinder now as the entry level. Do you like the sound of this, or kind of a few generation or a few model years previous? I think the supercharged V6 sounds less awesome as we've gone on with time so whatever the tuning they've done with the exhaust i think it used to sound a lot better okay what's the next question okay i don't think it's related to cars who are your favorites to win the al and nl mvp from jose moda <laughs> i left this in there because i thought it was a good time to share some personal information i don't care about sports at all yeah. uh neither does christina and so, you know, we, we both played sports in high school. We both enjoy the activity of sports, but watching them could not care less. Um, so to answer that question. Who's in it? Well, yeah, 
Who's well, I mean, I know who's in the AL and in the NL. Uh, oh, I don't. Mike Trout. Mike Trout would be for the AL. That would be that would be the MVP for me. He's also he signed a baseball for me. I've actually thrown a pitch. Uh, I threw the first pitch at a major league game, uh, the a preseason game. Not what, well. Three years ago, yeah, wasn't didn't throw <laughs> okay. well. But that's like, yeah, that was that's my fun fact. Don't really care about sports, so sorry, Jose. Uh, but Mike Trout would be AL. I'm not sure NL. Continue on. Okay. Do you find the F type better looking pre or post facelift from Merck's Burks or Merck's Benz? Merck's Benz. Uh, I liked this question because I do have thoughts. Pre or post facelift F type. So. The, I'll just share now what happened with the 2021 model year. They restyled the front end and gave the touch, a, a little tweak to the rear end design. They basically kind of lowered and sculpted downward the nose of the car, making it look elongated. It may actually be elongated. And the subtle tweaks here and there, narrowing of the headlights. And if you get different trims, you get different pieces like you won't have this metal piece if you go with the um, the R, the F-Type R, not the R Dynamic, the R. And I'll, I'll be honest, I think I pretty much like the pre-facelift pre -facelift better in almost all regards, except for the taillights. I like the, what they did with the taillights for the 2021, but pre that, the biggest thing for me is this hood crease, you can see it a mile away. It's, it's so defined right here the hood cut line and of course the f-types the cool part is that it's clamshell so the hood will release and come this way but this is just such a defined line and maybe because it comes this way they had to do it with this it being this defined i feel like it was hidden better with the pre facelift this time it's not hidden at all you can see that from a mile away and some people could mistake it for a panel gap I don't think it's necessarily a panic guy, but it's probably functional based on the design of the clamshell hood. I'll show you it. I'll just pop it so you can see. I'll also get a chance to look at the engine just that way. But Rise. Oh. Yeah. So the line is that big most likely because it's needed the approaching without scraping, but it doesn't look as good. Engine, three liter, supercharged, not turbocharged, supercharged V6, making 380 horsepower. And uh, lots of engine cover, lots of engine cover. Yeah, it's a big piece of metal, but it's lightweight. Pretty sure it's an aluminum hood. Oh, it's hot, it's already getting hot. You have to close it that hard, by the way. Otherwise, it won't actually close. Next question, Christina. And again, for those of you watching on YouTube, these are questions that we got early. Uh, if you want yours to be highlighted and we get to it first, you can do super chat. If not, just wait patiently. We'll get to your questions. Okay. What does the P in P380 stand mm. for from Mark's Benz? Okay, so the P is yonder right here. So this. All Jaguar Land Rover vehicles, and actually a lot of luxury car vehicles, are just getting, the limbs are getting longer and longer. So we have P380, R Dynamic, F Type, put them in whatever order you want. But the P stands for, as far as I can tell, power. 380, that's how much horsepower this car makes. So the P, power, 380. That's, that's as far as I can tell. I haven't asked my friends at Jaguar what specifically that means, but I'm pretty sure it means power. If it was PS, then it would be the European standard of, uh, of power delivery, PS versus horsepower, but it's just P, so I think it's 380 horsepower. That's what it stands for. Okay, how is the headroom for six foot plus adults from Yukon Cobbs? Okay. Yukon Cobbs asked how the headroom is for six plus adults. I'm six feet tall. I'm not six one, six two, but I'm six feet. Let's see, how's the headroom? Well, Pretty good. Oh, sorry, this is terrible. Uh, 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 yeah, Christine didn't like it. Okay, I'll put the top up. I also have a longer torso, so headroom is sometimes a problem for me. 
But let's see in here. Up, windows are gonna go up, sorry. Put the windows down, down to go. All right, so, headroom, I've got about an oh. inch. An inch with some oh, flex. Sorry. Really difficult to film that. Uh, I've got about an inch with some oh, flex. Okay, sorry guys. <laughs> Go ahead. Uh, if I sit all the way up, uh, my head's still not touching. So I think with my longer torso, I think uh, six two, six three would be fine because people will probably have different body types than myself. So I think headroom's okay in this car. And the seat is all the way at its low. No, it's not at its lowest. <gasps> I thought it was at its lowest. Okay, there you go. Now I've got new discoveries. New discoveries, folks. Okay, I have a full inch at this point. Maybe even more. Maybe inch and a half. So I think you will not have a problem with headroom in this car. Wow, really? While you're in there, could you hand me my water? Oh, Christina's dying. Thanks. It's hot, guys. We've had a heat wave lately. Okay, what's our next question? This is what the top looks like when it's up, by the way. Should we count how, how long it takes to put it down? Yeah, let's count. Christina is the audience. Okay, ready? I'm going to start right now. One Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi, four Mississippi, five Mississippi, six Mississippi, seven Mississippi, eight Mississippi, nine Mississippi, ten. Ten Mississippi? Woo. That didn't take long. How about, how about to go up? Ready? One Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi, four Mississippi, five Mississippi, six Mississippi, seven Mississippi. Mississippi 9, Mississippi 10, Mississippi 11, Mississippi 12, 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 Mississippi I do think the nose is turned down too much. A lot of you, a lot of your viewers don't. They don't like it. Okay. I think objectively, if we pull everything away and we just look at the headlights, I like the design. But as part of the downturn nose, not a fan. Okay. Next question. You need me to hold your water? Actually, I'll take a sip. Thank you. Oh. <laughs> oh, look at that. Branded. Water bottle. Everything we own is branded. Everything we own is branded. All about it. Okay. Go into the chat. You can't see this, but the phone we're shooting on is also branded miles per hour. Shh. Okay, leave me some water. Mm. Thank you. That. Okay. Hi. Thank you, everyone, for... You gotta speak up. Oh, hello to the signature Cation Sanders anime fan. Okay. Oh, that yellow shirt is the Leaf Village. Yeah. Oh, yeah. From You're not the, wearing yes, it. Yes, good call. Did they see it yesterday? Yeah, maybe? it was in my header image. Oh, there you go. From Naruto. Okay. Yeah, like anime. Uh, it's. I'm getting through these. Hey, Zuna. Hey, Lataro. All right. Hi, Shadow Drone. Okay, can I see the brake pad? Are they red or orange from Khalid? I can't show you the actual pad. I can show you the caliper. Right caliper. And they are indeed painted red, not orange. So red, I like that it actually matches the other red things. One of my big pet peeves on cars is when they, oh, Christina just spilled water all over the ground. Okay. Love it. Keep going. Um, it's, <laughs> it's when they either get close to matching the color or don't, or do a completely different color. I've seen orange calipers, red accents around the car. Hate it. This time, they match the color, so I like that. Red calipers, red accents there. Uh, are there any other red accents on the car? It might just be the wheels that have oh, the, the red accents. Oh, duh, obviously. But I mean accents. Yes, okay. So there's red stitching throughout the car, and it's all kind of that same red. These are optional upgraded seats. I uh, cannot remember exactly. They're like $1,000. And they're very comfortable, they look sporty, they've got this quilted stitching on the inside. Heated, not ventilated. Your seat is like, ah, oh, how dare they not be? Well, yeah, it's hot. It's very hot. It should really be ventilated. All right, next question. Okay. 
And guys, I'll say this right out front. I'm not doing a review on this car. So if there's any questions you want to hear about, you know, my thoughts more specifically on this car, I will answer them this time. Typically, I'll refer to or refer you to a review. I'm not doing a review on this one. I don't have time. Okay. I have other cars that I'm reviewing. Oh, I said, hey, show me the lights, but we already we did showed that. you the lights. I could turn them on. Let me. Yeah. They're on for sure now. Okay, we have another question okay. from Harsh. Does F-Type provide most value for the money when compared with coupes and convertibles of Mercedes-Benz or BMW? Huh. Uh, it, it provides a value. Here, let's, let's show them the headlights. So let's come on down. You're doing too many things. So we, uh, down low, you can see the LED daytime running light right in here. I'm not going to switch on the actual headlight. It's going to be hard to see, but just to show you guys the headlight. Okay, Harsh asked the question about value relative to Mercedes-Benz and BMW vehicles. Uh, you know, really, like, this is going to compete with the 4 Series uh, M4, kind of. I mean, the M4 is going to make more power. And then Mercedes-Benz, the C-Class, the C-Coupe specifically, and the C63. C43 is more like it. I think that interior quality is going to definitely go to those Germans. Theater, F-Type. I think it's more beautiful than the cars from BMW, especially that new 4 Series Coupe from BMW. Oh, what were they thinking about that front end? Anyway, I think uh, aesthetics, I'm going to go to Jaguar. Interior quality, definitely going to go to BMW or Mercedes-Benz. Those are pretty much tied, in my opinion. Really good quality in those cars. And they're, they're pleasing, visually pleasing in those cars. Driving experience? Probably BMW. Probably BMW. This is a close second, in my opinion. But probably BMW. Okay. But he asked about value. I think value probably... The Germans kind of have it on that one. This car, as tested, is ninety-four thousand dollars. I think it's too much money. Eighty, low eighty, sure. As tested, low eighty would be fine. Okay, from Andrew Parker, what is the ride quality like? Very good, shockingly good, actually. I was very pleased with the adaptive dampers. Doesn't have an air suspension system or anything like that, but the adaptive dampers are really well sorted. Went over some rough stuff, and it's a really smooth ride. That was actually one of the, the things I like most about this car. The ride quality is very good. Good question, Andrew. What else do we have? Okay. Besides the sunburn. Uh -huh. Show me the turn lights. Sure. Okay. Why not? That will come in the... The POV drive's already out for this, but I'll have a walk around and then a POV night drive for this. And in the walk around, I'll show you the turn lights, but I'll show them to you right now. They take over where the daytime running light would be. Okay. All right. Andrew Parker feels bad for me when I'm behind the car during the, <laughs> uh, yeah. the revs. Yeah. Well, also, just between you and I, Christina, you can step a few paces further back so you won't oh. get as much of that. The mic will pick up the audio quality from the oh. exhaust. Especially hazard. if it's loud. Oh, from Khalid. Hazard lights. Hazard lights. Interesting. It's going to be the same as the turn signal, but on both sides. I will turn them on, though. So exciting. I think Pablito, who typically asks about the horn, wants to hear the horn. But I won't do that with Christina right there. I'll wait till she moves. That's hazard lights. Why don't you show them the rear? While I'm doing the horn, why don't you show them the rear with the hazards on? exciting stuff. Rear with hazards, and I'm just going to horn it up right now. That sounds weird. Yeah, that I'm going to hit the horn. <laughs> Much higher pitch than, what was I just in, in the Corvette. Corvette had a lower pitch horn. Lower tone. Alright. Still going, guys? Yeah, okay, so 
the phone overheated. Oh, we lost a lot of yeah, I lost a lot of people. I'm sorry, guys. The phone overheated. So we. Uh, it turned off. Yeah, it turned off. So we're going to just drive now. I will now. leave the air on. Okay. I'm going to leave the air on. I don't want it to be too loud so people can't hear me, though. Yeah, so we're still going to be driving. And uh, yeah, phone overheated. So if you stuck it out, props to you. If not, hope you enjoyed the first part of the video. <laughs> people are back. Okay, so if you missed it, the phone overheated in the sun. It is indeed that hot of a day out here and so humid. But we're going to go for a quick little spin and I put it in dynamic mode. Basically just sharpens everything up and I'm opening up the exhaust valves so when I give it the beans around this corner here, you can hear it. Whoa, 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 whoa. what you know with the camera? Okay, there we go. Alright, so that was a bit of acceleration. I'm gonna do some downshifts. When you do those. Oh. Sorry, Christina. I almost hit my face. <laughs> when you do those, you get some overrun. Characteristic F type with the loud exhaust and the overrun, but not not as much as previous generation two. A Lamborghini Huracan right oh. across the way. Anyone spot that? The white one? Okay, we have another question. Okay. I'm back up to where I left off. Would you rather have that Jaguar for a year or a BMW M4? Christina, what would you rather have? I think we want that M4. Yeah, it's like that M4. We want the M4 just because it's more practical. You can get it with a manual, and yeah, you can no longer get the F type with a manual, and that's more fun. So I would choose M4. And you can get ventilated seats in that. You do get some updates for 2021 in terms of the tech. So you now have a digital gauge cluster here, which is, it's pretty good as, gate, as digital gauge clusters go. It's not as good as I would say Audi's virtual cockpit. And this infotainment has been updated for 2021. So it's faster, sharper graphics, but so much glare. Oh my gosh. Unless the top is up, you can't see the screen at all. It's that bad. So I would say that's the Achilles heel of the tech in this car is the infotainment glare. Hey, how does the MB GLS 63 AMG compare to the X7 M type? Okay. Uh, Different. Yeah. People keep. I think people keep asking those questions because they they saw the maybe the GLS 63 video and I also reviewed the X7. I, you know what? I'm, I'm gonna say GLS 63 will beat the X7M because they don't even have an M, a full-on M yet. It's the M50i, and so the GLS makes more power, is more exciting. I think it's got more impressive convenience features. Yeah, there you go. Oh, I like this one. Can from Francis? Can you relive the Polaris slingshot video with <laughs> this car top down? Oh, oh my gosh, that would be. That would be terrible because the leather would not do well. <laughs> Polaris was meant to get wet all the way through. This car, not so much. Although I would like to dress up yet again in a swimsuit. Although it was so cold when I did that. Good reference, Francis. I don't know if everyone's seen that video. If you want to have a laugh at my expense, go ahead and watch the Polaris slingshot going through a car wash. It was so cold. It's a good insight into your personality. Yeah, I just don't care. Abby Ram, what about interior design? Is good or maybe better? So you yeah. already talked about that. I mean, I, I talked about it relative to others. I find the interior design to be fine. It, it, again, slight tweaks for 2021. Uh, we now have established 1935 uh, for Jaguar up here, a different texture for this trim. Uh, we have 1935 around glove box opening there. Um, 
Yeah, little tweaks. I think the layout is pretty good. Still driver focused with this arm grab handle, all kind of oriented towards the driver. It's good. It's not, it doesn't blow me away. It doesn't make me feel super special in this car. Not for the price. No. I, one of my favorite things though, if they've had this for a while, is the drive mode selector. You get to pull back or press forward on this toggle thing. And that's, that's pretty cool. The action of that is cool. This transmission is also really good. It's an eight-speed CF automatic gearbox, and the shifts are really quick. CF is used in so many different cars, especially performance cars, and they did a great job. Jaguar did a nice job tuning this one. So the suspension, ride quality, the transmission, all good points to this car. And it's still beautiful, even though it's not as beautiful, I think, as the previous pre-facelift. The F-Type is still beautiful. Oh, you got a comment that says, he is cringe, lol. He is cringe. I think because you were doing the Mississippi's. Oh, yeah. Was during that. Possibly, yes. No, okay. my, my humor is cringeworthy. That is for sure. I won't dispute that. Okay. Well, let's see. We're getting towards the end here. Yeah. This, um, you can talk about your 100,000 subscriber video because God says, I want to test out cars someday like you guys. Can you guys give me tips on when and how I can convince my parents to let me do this? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. You know, at, at 100,000 subscribers, I'm going to do a special video where I explain all about how I got into this and how you might be able to do the same. So look forward to that. We're at like 75 something now. So hopefully we'll get there soon. Tell your friends get there faster so I can make that video sooner and I will be happy to VOD was his name? VODs. 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 I will be happy to go into more detail about how you might be able to do this as well. And I don't test out cars myself. She does not. No, but well, she she does the, the butt do. test. The passenger butt test. No, she has opinions. Lots of opinions. Yeah, but I, I don't, love, I I don't get opinions. paid. Okay. No. Favorite car ever driven from Pixel Theory? Favorite car I've ever lot. driven is the McLaren 675 LT. That was just so much fun. Uh, yeah, just just it, it was one of the first supercars I ever drove, and it just put a smile on my face and honestly shocked me with the acceleration. I loved that car, so that that's still it for me. Have I been in that one? No, that was. That was before your time, baby. All right, have we okay. caught up on all the questions? Um, MPG, question mark. It's a good question. I think it is 18 combined. No, I'm wrong. 21 combined. Yeah, 21 combined. I think it was like 18 city, 27 highway. 18, 27, I believe, 21 combined. Just that bad. My fuel economy has been pretty darn good. A lot of driving I've done in this car, and I still have half a tank. Does one daily this car? Sobrata, I think, is this a daily driver? Yeah, yeah, you could daily drive this car. I think because the suspension is so comfortable, um, I, think you, I think you really could daily drive it. The practicality would be a concern with this car. Then again, any convertible sports car is not going to have great practicality, and therefore it makes it harder as a daily. A coupe version would be much easier to daily for the practicality standpoint. But you could daily drive this car. Uh, it has enough creature comfort. Again, the glare would be an issue, but that, that's that's really the only the only concern there about daily driving it practicality and not being able to see what's going on in the infotainment. Hmm. Thanks, Andrew. He's saying, folks, Miles drove the Sharon. It's in the video list. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. if you want to see the, the Bugatti Sharon. The Bugatti Chiron is technically how you say it. It's French. Okay. Other people say it. Chiron. That but was it. the first review I watched before we started dating. Oh, there you go. Ooh. <laughs> okay. 
Okay. All right, so we'll end with a bit of acceleration and then, yeah, look for the other videos, POV drives and walk rounds of the F type. Oh, yeah, our one, dynamic. More, one more compliment. Oh, thank you. I own a 2017 Bentley Bentayga because of you. Oh. Because your POVs changed my mind. Oh, wow. That's awesome. That's a nice one. That's thank a good you. one to end on. Yeah, very. I'm glad that they helped convince you that that was a good buy. Miles per hour. He can change your mind. <laughs> cool. <laughs> All right, guys. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Tell others to subscribe so we can get to that 100,000 and I can make that video about how I do what I do. All right, guys. Have a good rest of your weekend and we'll see you next time.